How's it going? We've got the P226 by Sig Sauer today, and we're going to be doing a full review. Let's get it. All right, guys, we've got the Sig Sauer CO2 pistol in a high quality air gun that fires lead pellets. It's produced by Sig Sauer themselves, making this as accurate as possible to the real thing. The construction is full metal, making the pistol robust and reliable, and the weight is balanced and realistic. There's a 22mm weaver rail under the front of the barrel for the attachment of laser sights or torches. We have a laser sight that we'll be putting it on as well for you today. Uh, the action is semi-auto blowback, which is very precise and realistic, and the barrel is threaded for the fitting of a silencer or muzzle brake. But to fit a silencer in this pistol, don't forget you require the Sig Sauer P226 silencer adapter, uh, adapter sorry, because it is not the normal uh, size. All right, and that is it, guys. Back to the video. All right, guys, so here it is, the P226 by Sig Sauer, the actual company that makes all the proper stuff. Um, yeah, it's com it's heavy. It is a good handful of gun, this. All metal frame. It's got a weathered, textured polymer grip, so it is really grippy to hold. It feels legit. It honestly feels... The best thing about this is the feel. It is amazing. The uh, magazine... You have eight shots and you go underneath it's eight shots again so when you do it all you just pop it out turn it around and you're good to go um, again okay so that's pretty cool uh magazine release button is there just where i pressed it boop, boop. you got your safety there red means fire it's really easy to use okay you put it like that this is a double action trigger as well so if you take it off you can actually pull back fire pull back fire or you can just do it yourself like that it's fully gas low back meaning it moves and looks realistic and what you're looking for is this little icon there and you know it's legit so we're gonna go outside and have a load of shots with this it is uh it, it's really good man it's also got this as well the threaded barrel i don't think this is standard i think you need a specific um silencer suppressor or whatever for this so um yeah it'd be don't just it's not a universal fit there you go, 6L P226, let's go outside and fire this thing. Alright guys, so it is, we're outside now, we've got the P226, we've also got a laser sight that's going on it soon as well, but we're going to just fire it straight out of the box, it hasn't got adjustable sights on it, so uh, how you get it is how it's going to fire. I have used this before, um, and it fires low, so you have to aim a little bit higher than the target, but hence the laser sight, we're going to put this on in a bit and see if we can get it. Uh, dialed in all right so let me show you how the co2 goes in this is an awesome design by the way there's a little button there and you go boop and it opens like that you don't need to unwind anything you don't need allen keys you don't need torque sets nothing like that it just goes in like that okay literally and then drops back out again so boop now all you got to do is close this. Now it does give you a bit of resistance, but that's it. We're done. How sick. So now we're good to go. You see the blowback action? It might be a bit quick. Might have to slow that down for you. But um, yeah, let's get the mag filled now. I'll show you how to do this. All right, so going for the reload, we have 177 pellets, not a lot left. And we've got the, the mag that takes eight in each side, and it tells you which side it goes in. So nothing on that side, it's blank. You've got a little indicator there, okay? Just spins around like that. Eight shots each side. So let's give it a little press, rotate, and repeat. Okay, so that's one side done. Let's spin it around to the other side. Okay, all filled up. Now we're gonna have eight shots and then we're gonna spin it round and we'll have the camera close up on the target for you. So we'll show how it shoots first. I'm just gonna sh shoot straight into the cushion at the end there. Okay, safety's on, it won't pull. Okay. 
Okay, so disengage safety. And we're good to go. Then we're gonna fire it like this, okay? So you're gonna get a good a good view. So we're watching for the blowback and everything like that. We're just gonna fire it just straight into um, the cushion over there. Well, that was eight shots, it did actually miss one in there. But there you go, you get the basic idea. The trigger takes a while to get down. You have to go quite a far away until you get that bite point, but yeah, overall pretty good. So we're gonna swap it around now. Okay, safety's on. We've got eight shots there. We're gonna take you up there and put it into a target. All right, we're gonna do our best not to shoot the camera. We're gonna go for that middle one there, okay? We're not gonna move the gun or adjust for, um, for drop or anything at all. We're just gonna go straight for the middle. All right, as you can see, left and all over the shop. <laughs> that was me just stood there. That is 10 meters away. That is iron sights on the center every shot. So let's see if we can get that a bit more accurate with the laser sight. Also, we've got a leg holster. So let's see how it fits into that too. Okay, looks pretty good. All right, that's the leg holster. Looks pretty decent. Fits good. Nice, and uh, got spare compartments down here for spare mags as well, which you can get. Okay, time to fit the laser sight. I'm gonna take the mag out. Just off Amazon, link in description. It comes with three Allen keys, three batteries. You've got the Picatinny rail there, and you've actually got another one underneath it, so, you, so you've got the rail there, that will, Go onto there and we'll tighten it up, okay? And then underneath, it's actually got another one. You could probably put a torch on there or something like that. That's pretty cool. So battery goes in here. Find the right one. Let's undo this. Ah, so just take all three. As you can see on my hand, we've got a red dot. So now we know it's in the right way. We got to just loosen this and get it onto the gun. So. We'll find the right Allen key. Okay, so it's a bit finicky to get in there. But we've done it. Okay, so that is in and on. We just have to find out where it's pointing and where the shots go compared to where I'm aiming. So we're gonna put the red dot bang on the middle. We're gonna get a bit closer this time. We always shoot at a 10 meter range, but I'm gonna go to about five or something, closer distance a little bit. Um, and then we're just gonna go and just uh, take a shot and then we can adjust this thing left or right with the smaller allen keys so if you look on there you've got an allen key that goes in there moves the laser left and right and you put it underneath and it moves it up and down so all you have to do is do it and shoot until you're good i don't know if you can see the laser on there it's a bit bright but it is on so i've just sort of got it lined up with the iron sights now so i've just looked down the iron sights and gone this and i know it shoots low so we're just gonna have a few a shot adjust a shot adjust until it's accurate all right, a bit of messing about, but I think I've got the laser sight on now, so we just need to put some more pellets in and we'll have a go. All right, so as you can see, I think a little adjustment up and a little adjustment right, and this will be spot on. All right, guys, and there you go, P226 Sig Sauer, awesome weapon. guys there it is and as usual thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next one we've just won a competition as well we've won the 1911 six hour um emperor something which is coming the week after this so uh check out next friday 6 p.m catch you next one peace